as far as blaming myself is concerned. And, you know, where do we draw the line between this is from Allah and this is my fault? Where do you draw that line? You know, in the physical world, it's very easy to understand. What do I mean by the physical world? In the physical world, if I put, instead of putting gasoline in my car, I put water in my car and it didn't work, then you don't get, clearly you don't get to say this was Allah's plan. That was you. So physically speaking, or if you're eating junk food and you're constantly eating all kinds of sugary foods and then you get a diagnosis for diabetes at the age of 45, then you don't get to say, hey Allah, this marad has come to me. I don't you know, it's a test from Allah. No, it's a test of your bad appetite. You don't eat cucumbers. You eat Swiss rolls or whatever you eat. You know, you're, you've been downing junk and that's why this happened to you. You understand? So that, that in, the, in the physical world, the, the cause and effect, there's an effect, it's something that all human beings with common sense understand. In the moral world, you missed a salah. You woke up late. You didn't pray, Fajr. And now you're praying it late. And then that day you had a job interview. And the job interview didn't go well. And you're like, this is because I missed salah. Now the answer to that is it may be, and it may not be. And there's no way you will ever know. There's no way you or anyone else will ever know. But the thing that will help you is The thing that will help me is that Allah says, I will be as you assume me to be. If you're assuming Allah took revenge from you and put this on you because you missed Fajr, then that's who Allah is to you now. If you assume, no, this is better, this, this job, I tried my best, I did a good job at the interview, but this was not a good job for me. Had it been good for me, Allah would have let it go. Allah, Allah would have given me this job. If you have that attitude, then that is who Allah is to you, despite all of your mistakes. Despite you missing, waking up late. Our job when we make mistakes is to make istighfar, not wait for Allah's revenge. Please understand that. Our job is not, oh, I messed up, now Allah is going to get me somehow, it's going to happen. No, 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 no. That's not what Allah does. Which is why Allah says, مَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتَ يَدِيكُمْ Whatever calamity struck you, whatever difficulty you find yourselves in, a lot of it has to do with what you did yourselves, with your own hands. You brought this on yourself. And even in the spiritual sense, sometimes there are difficulties that come on us because of our deeds. If you are, for example, continuously horrible to your parents, and then bad stuff comes to you in your life, then probably there is some connection. There is some, and then in those kinds of cases, what does Allah do? وَيَعْفُ عَنْ كَثِيرٌ He says, He pardons a lot too. In the physical world, if I jump off of a second floor building, there are going to be consequences. Allah will not say, no, this time I'll forgive you, I won't break your leg. No, no, it's, it's gonna what's going to happen is going to happen. When you put your hand in a fire, it is going to burn. Allah is not going to say, well, you prayed Fajr this morning, so no, not for you. It won't burn for you. That's not going to happen. But when it comes to spiritual consequences, he says, وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ When you do a sin, then Allah says, actually, Allah lets a lot of it go. He doesn't just avenge immediately. He doesn't just take, you know, uh, immediate account and then make you suffer in this world because of the mistake you made. He doesn't do that. That's the nature of Allah Azza wa Jal with us.